All right, so CERN's Atom Smasher resumes hunt for bizarre particles in 2015. With double the energy, I don't like the sound of that, with double the energy, the Large Hadron Collider could finally produce elusive dark matter particles. In 2015, the world's most powerful atom smasher, the Large Hadron Collider, will restart. The particle accelerator has already discovered the Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, and when it comes back online after two years spent on upgrades, remember the magnets, they put new massive magnets in there supposedly, Researcher, researchers suggest it could discover other kinds of these god particles as well as extra dimensions of reality and the identity of the mysterious dark matter that makes up most of the mass in the universe. Researchers suggest it could d discover extra dimensions of reality. See, which is interesting when you pair that with... The, the statement made made by the director of CERN in 2009 that something may come through the dimensional doors. He says that they could put things through and also things certain things things could come through from these other dimensions. It's the stuff is crazy. I mean, when you first research it and you look into it, it sounds really far fetched. But then you learn that this thing is very very real. They have their own built Stargate and it looks just like the Stargate that they show you in the TVs and the movies and all that stuff. It's the same freaking thing. It's massive. I mean, the size of this thing alone and what it really does should really make people stop and think and question everything they've been taught. I mean, really, people should be very interested because it, once you start getting into this stuff, it is fascinating what this thing is. I think, anyway. And what's funny is you got to love this, man. These cussing mad scientists, dude, they're psychos. With all this in mind, researchers at the LHC are greatly looking forward to 2015. As the LHC is waking up, a lot of people are excited right now. There's a lot of enthusiasm here. Because remember, they've been pumped. They said in 2013, Large Hadron Collider shuts down to prepare for bigger bangs in 2015. They've been really excited, really excited about this year. And so I just find this absolutely coincidental, by the way. Then on December 30th, after they've been running tests on this thing all month, and on December 30th, 2014, they re they report an article, they they post an article saying this thing is restarting, and then literally two days later, NASA posts this coronal hole, massive coronal hole, on the south pole of the sun. And if you read the article attached to the to this, because this was uh, on the Drudge Report today. They talk about how they don't really know what causes these things. Well, you know what? Why don't you shut CERN down and leave it alone and let's see how many of these things open. Because there's a lot of us out there that think that this thing and, and CERN and this whole thing is tied together. And they fire that thing up and they really do what they're wanting to do with that. I don't know if, that, if the sun's going to explode. I don't know if it's going to open up. Because in my opinion, this thing is, is nothing but just an electronic curtain. And you're looking through the other side of space right there. But, I mean, that's just me spitballing. So, I think Eric Dollard is 100% is right, <laughs> but what do I know? So, coincidence? I don't know. You tell me. I want to thank the subs for the continued support out there. Thank you all very much.